When I visited Classic Q Sports to meet with National Pool Champion Shalin Chai, I was pretty surprised to see that she was the only girl around. In a sport that's dominated by men, it's hard enough for a female to be accepted. But it's another feat itself to shine and come out tops as a champion. That's exactly what the 28-year-old has managed to achieve, but not without hard work. Her biggest challenge? Winning her parents' support. Uh, of course, in the beginning, my mom keeps nagging at me, saying, you know, you better, you know, don't waste your degree and uh, your academics and everything. Find a decent job, you know, focus on your career. This is just playing. To her, it's like, I'm just playing and not like real work. So, um, I actually sort of like, along the way, I, pro I, I proved to her that this is not just an interest or just something that I like to do. I, I need to show that I'm not wasting my time, you know, spending all my time at the pool hall and playing, playing, uh, but um, so she actually gave me two conditions. At that time, I was still at SIM studying for my degree. Uh. So her condition is, first, you must become the Singapore number one lady player. Second, you must graduate with your degree. Then maybe I'll consider supporting you and letting you continue to do what you like. Uh. In 2005, she graduated from Uni Sim and also got her first national title in the ladies category. From then on, her parents let her pursue the sport as a competitive career. These days, she works for a family and trains about five days a week. In the day, I'll just uh, help out in the office and I'll come and train in the evenings. And uh, sometimes I do solo, sometimes I spar with uh, some like, other players. But um, almost every day, but at least five times a week. Five times a week? Yeah. Since I'm helping out in the family business, the advantage is if I need to fly overseas for any tournament, I don't have to like apply leave or no pay leave or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So it's a lot more flexible for you yeah, in that sense. Yeah, that's the advantage I get. It's been seven years since she started playing pool, but Charlene's still working towards making the sport a full-time career. Citing the lack of opportunities in Singapore to develop it as a profession, she says she's even had to fund her own participation in tournaments overseas. Because uh, we don't have like uh, any specific training regime or anything set by the national body or whatever, so for me, I'm purely on my own. So uh, I have my personal arrangement with my personal coach, and uh, unless like my country needs me to represent my country to go overseas to play certain tournaments, then uh, I will go along with the national squad. Apart from that, um, I will always be on my own. And because uh, there, are, there are so many tournaments you know, uh, in the other countries, and uh, I'll maybe like in one year, my council may send us to like two or three tournaments. So I will fund myself to go for another uh, like a few other tournaments, yeah. Are most of the tournaments you attend like self-funded or most? Yes, that's why I need. I still need to keep my job. <laughs> yeah. Coming up next, Charlene tells us why she felt like giving up just a year ago after a bad run in the competitive arena. So stay tuned for that.